In earlier videos, we had discussed about how to find the components of a coplanar concurrent forces. In this present video, we will discuss now how to find the resultant of coplanar concurrent force system. What is the given problem? Determine the resultant of the four forces acting on the body shown in figure. Here, 300 Newton force, 224 Newton force, 200 Newton force, 390 Newton force. Four forces are acting on this particular uh, body at this particular point. So, these forces are called concurrent forces. As all these forces are in a single plane, that's why they are called coplanar concurrent forces. Here, inclination of the 300 Newtons with the x axis is 30 degrees and 200 Newtons with the x axis is 60 degrees, whereas 224 Newtons with the x axis is not given directly. 390 Newtons with the x axis is not given directly. So, we have to find the inclinations. Theta 1 is equal to tan inverse of opposite side 1 adjacent side 2 which is equal to 26.56 degrees this is theta 1 and this is theta 2 then theta 2 is equal to theta 2 is related to 390 Newton force tan inverse of 12 by 5 opposite side by adjacent side which is equal to 67.38 degrees now we will find the components for four forces both horizontal as well as vertical This is horizontal component for 300 Newtons. So, 300 cos 30 degrees vertical component 300 sin 30 degrees. Then for 224 Newton force horizontal component 224 cos 26.56 degrees for vertical component 224 sin 26.56 degrees for 200 Newton force horizontal component 200 cos 60 vertical component 200 sin 
60 degrees for 390 newton force horizontal component 390 cos 67.38 degrees vertical component 390 sin 67.38 degrees now we will find the summation of the horizontal components as well as summation of the vertical components in the case of summation of the horizontal components rightward direction components as positive and leftward direction components as negative and in the case of uh, summation of vertical components upward direction components are positive downward direction components are negative now we will find summation of the horizontal components say sigma fx what is sigma fx summation of the horizontal components here rightward direction component forces positive leftward direction component forces negative if this is the case then sigma fx is equal to 300 cos 30 positive as it is rightward direction and 224 cos 26.56 negative at it is leftward direction and 200 cos 60 negative it is leftward direction Three ninety cos sixty seven point three eight positive rightward direction because which is equal to Two fifty nine point eight zero minus two hundred point three six minus hundred plus. One fifty, which is equal to one at nine point four four newtons. Next, sigma f y is equal to summation of the vertical components. Here, upward. component forces are positive downward component forces are negative then Sigma F Y is equal to three hundred point 
थ्री हंड्रेड साइन थर्टी डिग्रीज इट इज अपवर्ड दैट्स वे इट्स ए पॉजिटिव प्लस टू ट्वेंटी फोर साइन टी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स डिग्रीज अपवर्ड बिकॉज इट इज पॉजिटिव नेक्स्ट माइनस टू हंड्रेड साइन सिक्सटी डाउनवर्ड दैट्स वेट्स ए नेगेटिव नेक्स्ट थ्री नाइन्टी साइन सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री एट डिग्रीज विच इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी प्लस हंड्रेड पॉइंट वन फाइव एट माइनस वन सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट टू जीरो माइनस थ्री फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन नेक्स्ट सिग्मा एफ वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू एटी थ्री पॉइंट जीरो थ्री टू न्यूटन सो द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ समेशन ऑफ द हारजेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड समेशन ऑफ द वर्टिकल कॉम्पोनेंट्स इज कंप्लीटेड The next step is to find the resultant of the force system. Sigma f x is equal to one at nine point four four newtons, and sigma f y is equal to minus two eighty three point zero three two newtons. Then resultant. force r r is equal to under root of sigma fx whole square plus sigma fy whole square then 109.44 whole square plus minus 283.032 whole square which is equal to 303.45 newtons so r value is 303.45 Four five newton. That is magnitude of the resultant is three not three point four five newtons. Then we have to find the direction of the resultant with the x-axis. Say theta is equal to tan inverse of sigma f y by sigma f x tan inverse of minus 283.03 by 109.44 Which is equal to sixty-eight point five eight degrees, as sigma f y negative and sigma f x positive. 
so resultant acts at an angle 68.58 degrees to the x axis in the fourth quadrant finally r value is equal to 303.45 newtons and theta value 68.58 degrees within brackets fourth quadrant fourth quadrant